Hello everyone. Um, I just got back and seen Batman: The Killing Joke. Well, it was on Monday, and this. Sorry, I took the cover off because it was hard to read with the cover on. Sorry. Now, like, basically, this this book is amazing. I love The Killing Joke. Easily the greatest Batman story or Joker story ever. Even Tim Burton said this. I love The Killing Joke. It's my favorite. It's the, it's the first comic I've ever loved by Tim Burton. Yeah, Tim Burton. The guy that created the, A Nightmare Before Christmas. I bet he watched the movie already. Anyway, I'm a... I'm going to tell you what I think about the movie and what I, th I'm going to tell you guys my review of the whole movie and what do I think about it and also here's a warning, spoilers if you guys didn't see it. Remember if you didn't see the movie, do not watch this video. If you did see the movie, you can continue watching this video. Okay? Now. It, the movie opens up somewhere in Gotham City, but in the book, it opens up here. This part, this part right here, comes later on. I don't know why, but that's how they stood up with. And I figured, why was Batgirl in this movie? Well, there was reason. They were trying to find a killer well, named Paris. So he is obsessed with Batgirl. I have no idea. I have not seen someone so obsessed with Batgirl that he's like, he wants to like Ugh, don't get me started. Batman keeps telling, telling Batgirl that she's off the case because Paris is Totally insane about her. Like some... He wants to... Rape... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, get it out of my mind. Anyway. Then comes the weird part. Trust me, it comes in a minute. Just when Batgirl was trying to look for him, a wild goose hunt. A wild something hunt. Um... Like, what are, where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? Um, a wild goose chase. He, we find out that he killed his uncle because his uncle wanted him dead now. And after that, Batman is furiously mad at her. And tells her that she's off the case, even though know, I already told you that. But just as soon they were fighting, then Batgirl was on top of Batman. And nothing else, okay? Nothing else. I don't want to explain that part. I really don't want to explain that part. That part was not in the comic book. Not that part. Oh, God. Why? How old is Batgirl? And how old is Batman? Anyway, moving on. Um, what do I have to say? Alright, skipping that. So after the... Um, not going to say it on here. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Batman and Batgirl had <laughs> skipping that part. Anyway, um, what do I say? What do I say? Um, okay, what did I say? Okay, anyway, skipping through the docks, Batgirl beats up Paris to a pulp. He was almost dead. She had blood on her hands, and then after. Everything's gone on with that. 
we finally get into the move and get to the part we're supposed to be at. By the way, this this movie isn't for kids, so only adults or young adult or and young adults can see it. Little kids, no. <laughs> anyway, um. One second. So basically, um, we finally get into the part where the Joker, and you already know how the, if you guys read the book, you would understand the whole thing. Yeah, this is what the book looks like when you take the cover off, so. Anyway. Um, plus it's better without the cover. So, so I, anyway, um. Like, I know the whole, uh, the whole thing, like this. Yeah, that stuff. Like, look at this whole thing. The Joker's origin was done right. Like, like, um... This was really good. This is a really good... It's, it, it was a good movie, a good book, and it was, it was very good. Also, we all know what happens in The Killing Joke. We see this part. See this? Yeah. When, when I saw that part, I was in shock. I was in shock. I was in shock. What's worse about it is Joker tried to take her clothes off and took pictures of it. When he took pictures about it, he took pictures about it so he can drive um Commissioner Gordon insane. I think if that'll work. Yeah, that didn't. We all know how that happens. Yeah. Yeah. It was just so, so terrifying. That's why, that's, and the circus people, they are terrifying too. This is why you shouldn't show your kids that stuff. Anyway, moving on to the end of the book, Batman and Joker are fighting as usual, and after that, well, everyone... Everyone in the entire world that saw The Killing Joke and read the book about it wanted to figure out one thing. Did Batman kill the Joker at the end of the book? My guess, or obvious guess, no. No, he did not kill the Joker. Batman does not kill. We all know that. We all know Batman does not kill, so Batman, was, and yeah, we know Batman was laughing with the Joker for some reason. I don't know why, but it just ended right there. Right there, and that was it. Same thing that happened in the book. One second. Right here. Like right here. Ends right there. Right. Right here. Ends right there. Like right there. They both laugh. They both start laughing. And that's it. But it ends right there. It just ends right there. I don't know why it ends right there, but I was confused. 
Everyone said, did Batman kill the Joker? Everyone thinks he did. Some people think both of them killed each other by laughing. And some people think... And some people think that I agree Batman took him to jail when the police came. Yes! That's, isn't it obvious? Batman doesn't kill. So, yeah. What do I think about the King joke? I give it 100 thumbs up. It was just like in the comics. Well, one part wasn't in the comics. Don't remind me. <sighs> anyway. Make sure you guys like, comment, and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Well, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And there will be a third video. And I'll see you guys later.